Hello viewers, Flash Motorsport here, and how are we all doing today? We'll have a look at doing the combustion event, combustion tour event. And it looks quite interesting really, because you got the four cylinders, then you got the ring uh, with uh, the Super Sixes, which I had a look at those cars, you got the Skyline, uh, I think it's a 350Z, Sylvia, things like that. And then we've got the V8 stuff, so let's have a look at what the four-cylinder stuff has. And what car choices do we have? Why have I got... Uh, there we go. I've turned her off because I'm talking to my head. In. So I've already got the Subaru 2019 or 2015 version or Renault Clio. I was not guessing what's probably better, isn't it? So I'll probably go for the 2019 Subaru. To be fair, it doesn't look much different to the 2015 model. Maybe raised up a little bit, a bit beefed up. Oh, special edition S209, yeah. Fair enough. Let's go for that. Are you all hearing me all right over there? Are you ready? Uh, what? You're the oldest car. Do you want to buy another car? No, I'll just let the car just be clicked. Yes. Just wanted to check that you can all hear me okay over there. Well, I made Ohio long course. I haven't done this one in a long, long time. Crikey. Okay. Let's have a look. Right. There's a little bit of delay. I do not see any chat. Live chat, there we go. Let's get on with the performance. I can actually tune this car. No way. Hmm. Well, I'm going to dominate, dominate this circuit, aren't I? Max is uh, 700. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, well, I can't grumble at that. I think I've unlocked everything on this car as well. Ah, hold on. I've only got 11.50 points available. Car 11. I've got tyres compound. 1,700. I'm too poor for that. Uh, fuel system? What am I going to get out of that? Toggle. 373 out of feet, 355. 20 more horsepower. Is it worth it? It's always worth it. Always more horsepower is always worth it. Ignition, single turbo. Ooh, I've got the points for it. That's really pumping me up there. Uh, well, we'll afford that in a minute, I'm sure. Right, confirm upgrades. Why the hell not? I'm going to dominate this circuit, aren't I, really? <laughs> ah, tune in. I have not actually tuned this car. Gear in. Can't do anything on that, on that, on that, on that. Oh, well. I'm oh, quite limited. So, let's have a blast at mid-Ohio. Oh, it's been a while since I've done this track. So how is everyone? How is the stream looking at your end? Is it looking good? It's hard to tell from over here. I've got a little box in the corner of my screen. <laughs> Showing uh, it's looking pretty. Uh, I hate mid-Ohio. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't mind. I prefer the shorter version of it. I am not massively keen on this version of it. So skip practice. Uh, let's have a little practice session. It's, it's, uh, it's got a unique taste. I mean, I've mastered it to an, ex an extent. Uh, there is a lot of freezing on my screen. Um, mastered it to an extent-ish. It's been a while since I've actually done it in the Touring Car Series, so um, it's hard to really 
I just, brilliant, yeah. I'll adjust the headphone volume and it messes up my steering. Uh, well done, uh, Forza. As soon as another tab comes on, it uh, turns your steering wheel off. But yeah, middle high on VIR are the worst. Ah, I'm not too keen on VIR. I'm definitely not too keen on that one. Is this this is the one you can uh, cheat on the pit in, uh, on the pit, isn't it? Yeah. Spies have not fixed that yet. They can nerf all the touring cars, but they can't fix that. <laughs> oh dear. Nerf everything down as much as they can, but can't exactly fix uh, the pit engine. I also think uh, Watkins Glen is a bit like that as well with the. Uh, I'm too busy to stare at that chat. Um, with the the pits. Because you can use the entrance of the pit. I think reality they've got to create like um, an invisible barrier where if you use the pit entrance as a shortcut through a track or pit exit as a shortcut through a track without entering the pits, then you should obviously be penalized for it. As well as I've noticed a few times, I don't know if anybody else noticed it. Sometimes I've entered the pits and it's come up with a, you know, I've gone off track. Like, no, I'm going into the pits, but whatever floats your boat. I am actually curious if, because I've tuned up my car, is all the AI tuned up for their car? It'd be interesting to see, wouldn't it? But yeah. Not too sure. I mean, th this track is okay. These brakes are not. I should have upgraded the brakes. But what is that behind? Go on, what are you? I've got overtaken by a Honda. Yeah, and there's a Mini behind me. Yeah, that's not exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not good. Not good at all. It's pretty embarrassing getting overtaken by a Honda. And you're supposed to be in a Subaru. Alright, this car likes to understeer a little bit. Just a little bit though. So how is it all for everybody? How is it all looking at your end? Is it all looking pretty and dandy? Or is it... Uh... And how is the audio at your end? I don't want the game being too loud for you either. Can you hear me alright? Do I sound beautiful? I mean, I sound like Darth Vader at the minute. I'm still a little bit ill from uh, the weekend. I don't know what I caught, but uh, I definitely caught it off the missus. It's really kind of her. I mean, I know the Sharon's caring and that, but some stuff you can keep to yourself, like, I don't need it. <coughs> That's good to hear, that's good to hear. I will, uh, if I do cough, I will mute the mic so you don't have to listen to that awful stuff. Um, but today I'm feeling quite a bit better, so... Box of paracetamol, glass of water... And everything is hunky-dory. Oh, I only get three practice laps, I didn't even realise that. That's interesting. I think we've got the AI on the hardest as well. I don't know if you can change it in the career. Not all that sure. Not all that fast. I'm 11 seconds faster than my last lap. I mean, oh, well, right, a bonus. So, so completed between the 145. 141.85. Well, that's pretty easy to do. I'm not going to lie. I've tried. I also got a met. Oh. Right, I've also got a YouTube comment <laughs> from one of my members. Alright, the old school Quake. Doom and I play a bunch of Mario Kart on Switch. That is from Jeffrey. That's from the um, inside the members. I asked the question what are the games people play and things like that. So, right, this is the last lap. I massively messed it up, so let's just skip. Skip practice. Let's get on with there's opportunity to earn valuable credits and car experience, don't really care. And, uh, not a bad colour I chose, I don't think. Looks pretty good. Pretty tasty. 
All right, let's go to race then. Difficulty. Have I got the AR uh, Max? I have not. Uh, that's bottom of six. That'll do. Expert rules because, yeah, why not? Go to race. I have raced. Oh, look at that. Where am I going to go? It reckons on my lap time, I should start there and get the money. Yeah, let's go down to 15th. Then I can get the inside of the pit exit because, yeah, why not? If it's there, you can use it. Red up Clio's Honda Civics. There's a portion there. And yeah. All the minis at the back. Go race. Oh wait, I should change my fuel. How many like so do we have to do five? You give us all oh, that fuel. What am I gonna go to? Shopping after, like you know? Pop off the Tesco. Let's go. Ford Focus RS behind, I think that's an RS. And a Renault Clio in front. To be fair, those Renault Clios are light and pretty quick. Bit of torque steer there. Or was it holding the wheel? Good, Mark off the line. AI is already pushing me. Why not? Yeah. Oh, what? That's a good start, isn't it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh god, half a second, half a second penalty for avoidable contact. I just mashed the Porsche out of the way. Oh, I don't get a penalty for that though. No, that's fine. I get clipped again. Watch this, it's gonna be my fault. Go oh, on, get through the corner, man. What are you doing? AI is still that bad, eh? Oh, another half a second. Oh my god. Oh dear. Ah, nothing like a start like that to, uh. Yeah, move over then. Go on, give me another penalty. No. Yeah. Interesting. That was my fault. Probably was, yeah. Probably was. I've done worse. I really should have done something with this car's understeer. It's a bit, um... Crap. Come on. Steady. Go get out of the way. Go give me another penalty. No. Oh, that's not very fair. Shortcut. Yeah. Now we're starting to make places up. What, we're in sixth place? We're doing all right. We're doing all right. I really thought that Mitsubishi was going to go off track then. They, uh... Definitely outbreak themselves there, I must say. Sometimes the AI gets a bit worried about what you're doing without concentrating on what they're doing. Which is fair enough. I'll get worried about what I'm doing as well to be you know. Steady. That's it, we're into a rhythm. Bit slow through there. Up the hill. Oh, the understeer. Get off that understeer, you. How can I not catch it up to the car in front? Besides, obviously, me being a slow and having a mountain of understeer. I really should have put some better tyres on this more than adding more horsepower. That's what I should have really. Uh, Use my noggin for that one. But, uh, yeah. It's been a while since I've driven this car. I think, oh, whew, must have been when this game first came out that I actually got this car as part of your entry pack into the career mode. And I picked this one. 
So everything I've leveled up on it will be down to uh, the beginning career aspect of it. I think I got as far as the the big saloons in the career mode, and then I just stopped after that. Um, I quite enjoyed the big the big saloons were uh, quite chunky and they felt extremely heavy to drive. I'm not gonna lie, it didn't feel real to what a big saloon should feel like. Because you know they were performance for saloons. I mean, I picked the BMW and it felt like I was driving a uh, American school bus. So I'm not too sure what that's about. And it may have changed a little bit. Come on, boys. Yes, off that on the stair, and away we go. I'm not going to cut through that. I'll back out. I mean, has anybody ever even noticed any improvements in the AI since they've done these last few updates? Or has it been quite the same as it has been before? quite honest I never thought the AI was that bad I thought they were a bit confused about your actions that you're committing but more of unsure of where to put themselves over your position more like they were kind of scared of you kind of thing well that is bright pink in it purple pinky purple at least uh, the leader isn't running away with the race like it was back at... <laughs> yeah, there's that. Oh yeah, cranky, I'm not too far off that. To be fair, it is only at um, number 6. I mean, if I put it to number 8, it might be the case. But you are right in what you're saying. The leader did have a huge lead. And it was like they had unlimited grip. Uh, sorry about that. Um, they had unlimited grip because on some of the corners, I was trying to take him with the leader. And let's say the leader had the same car as me. I, I did a touring car, to, as you saw in the video, um, about the AI. And I used the touring car as a perfect example because I know the touring cars quite well and I wanted to see what the AI was like with them. And... Some of the corners, I was like, crikey, how is he even taking that? Because I couldn't catch anywhere near the speed that they were into a corner. So they definitely had better grip. Whether they had soft tyres on and no tyre wear, well, I couldn't tell you. Go on, buddy. Subaru. Hard on the brakes. Oh well, at least I won it on last lap, as long as I look off track. Tire wear seems uh, minimal. So what I was thinking as well, um, with these new tracks coming out and everything like that, I think they should really have a look into having different types of tire wear per the race as well. So you're not so from what I understand, tyre wear is four times what uh, vanilla is, which is, you know, this is vanilla right now. So multiplayer is four times what this is. So if that's the case, then it would be interesting to see having different races, having different tactics on the tyre wear. So let's say you could do a short race that had ten times the tyre wear. I'm just exaggerating here. That would be a pit a lap. Every lap you have to go into the pits, but um, but then on some tracks you could have like normal tire wear, so you can run a full set. Oh, and a penalty, didn't I? <laughs> Whoops, I forgot about that. Um, never mind. So yeah, you could run uh, a full short race on soft set tyres. That would be quite interesting as well. 
just throwing out ideas really because it would be quite good cool to see how the tire wear is um, could change throughout the races oh three points off because my penalty that I totally forgot about so I wasn't really pushing on the last lap oh well never mind but yeah like I was saying I just would be interesting to see how they would do that he's got racing tyres on drag tyres or racing tyres look like drag tyres to me could do with <coughs> sorry could do with restricting on how much fuel you can take too would make for a great race or fuel saving oh that would be great like, you know, if you've got 10 laps to do and you're only given 7 laps of fuel. But this is where I'd say um, a set of course comes in because you could change the fuel map. Um, that would be cool that you could do that on here, adjusting the fuel map and the fuel ratio for, like you say, to for fuel saving. Uh, let's get some better tyres put on this thing. How much money have I got? Oh, not enough. i maximise the tyre whips though. Hmm, I want to leave the good brakes on. Yeah, leave it at that. It'll be fine. We can make it work. But yeah, a fuel strategy for a race would be really interesting. God, that'd be quite funny at Le Mans, wouldn't it? Everybody sat there doing 70 miles an hour down the street because they're trying to fuel safe. Like one big line of fuel savers that you trying to uh, capture in on the slipstream. Uh, skip practice, let's go straight to race. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Although, actually, could have done with the points, but never mind. Go race, uh, starting at 15 again. 15 seems like a winning number. I do think they need to create a more of a tactic within the races. Wow, 65% fuel only gives me 15 laps. This car is thirsty. That person's having 25 laps of fuel. Twenty-five laps of fuel, so they're going to take the car home, do a bit of shopping, probably go out to um, the cinema, watch a film. Why not? A little bit of talk steering again. Let's go, monster! There's a few monster liveries around, really. Right, let's go. Bit wet. Well, oh, blimey. Take them out. Well, that's interesting. No penalty for that one. That Ford Focus has got some uh, weird looking rims. So, what we are, P7 now. Trying to catch up the Civic in front. Break in, break in. Could have done that a bit faster than realise how wide the exit was. See so how we do. Come at the end of here. Where they break in. My series just lit up, but I did not say your name. So I don't know what that's about. And I got distracted because of it. Come on, down the gearbox. Silly phone. Silly phone. All part of the fun. Just coast it round and a power on. Considering I have a lot of horsepower, that focus is keeping up pretty well. Oh. Uh. Oh, got done.
find it quite unusual doing this track in reverse. I think this is probably the first time I've done this track in reverse. Because in the touring car series, you go totally the other way around. So to me, it's quite alien. Right, we have three laps left to catch the cars in front, which is a fair few. Come on, you got it, girl. That's it. Power out of it, that's it. Up the bank, cut across. Yeah. Not as fast as through there as I would like. But we're making it work, really, we're making it work. We have the power to get ourselves out of a situation, but not a handling to make the situation work. It's really uh, quite depressing. Ah, it starts to rain. Joys. Went through there very sloppy, very sloppy. Well, if everybody else is on race tyres, for example, right, and that means they'll probably be on softs or something like that. Well, I'm on street tyres. So that makes it uh, better for me, I guess. Hmm. Fuse of thought right there. Coming round here, power on, and away we go. Holding the road pretty well. You know it's getting wetter and wetter. Problem is, I think I've messed this one right up. The cars in front, I'm not catching them. We've only got uh, a little bit to go. Come on. All these horsepowers. And I can't catch up to a Honda Civic. That's not good. We are doing a better lap time a little bit, not by enough. Ah. It looks a lot wider than what it is. Mm. Round the curve. All right, so we made P seven work by the looks of it. Could have done much better. Could have done much better. But it is what it is. <clears throat> wetness is actually quite affecting this car. Oh, don't go off track. Ooh. At least I didn't get a penalty this time around, I can't say that. That is that. Oh 
Come on, you. You can do it. Come on. Well, you win some, you lose some. So how is everybody finding update 7? Like I say, I know the touring cars have got nerfed. And the Love Walk got a hell of an increase. According to stats and things like that. Uh, oh, still in the top 3. And... With the AI having the work it's done, also the penalty system apparently had work done to it. Although it, some people say it works, some people say it's worse. It's a bit hit and miss, I think. Oh, uh, where are we? Oh. Ugh, what a track. What a track that is. Oh, dear. I should have enough points now for tyres. <laughs> At least something. Thousand for that, thousand seven for those sport tyres. Handling up by a little bit sometime. Yeah. What's that up to? 4.1. I chuck away 700 points of something. I'm going to have way, way better grip. and probably reduce that ridiculous understeer. Ah, oh, it's only 100 points. That's only 100 points. I'm not getting with that big turbo. Oh, you can, yeah. Oh, good shout, good shout. I took... Whoops. <laughs> I've totally forgot about that. Yeah, that's how it should be. Um, yeah. All right, well, that's the case. I've got an absolute fortune of money that I really don't spend it on a lot of stuff. So we're going to have a... Uh, let's get rid of it. Uh, chassis reinforcements. You right, darling? No, I've got a drink, thanks. Um, yeah, good shout there, man. Good shout there. And also might as well increase the horsepower because, you know... That's not a lot, is it? Oh, that's pushing it well over the top. Yeah. On the limit. Okay. Right. Uh, get more car points. Yes. Oh, is that it? That's really cheap. Okay. Wow. That's a... Uh, thanks for that. That is uh, brilliant. So hopefully... We might actually uh, be able to turn without understeering, and I I'm blaming the car for my poor driving performance this evening. There's no two ways about it. Can't really blame myself. Definitely on the car. Definitely not my fault. <coughs> because, you know, it's just easier to blame the car. Here we go. VIR, the best track in the game. And if you disagree, you're wrong, apparently. It's not my cup of tea, this track. Skip practice because I don't want to do too many laps on this thing. Nope. Definitely not. Okay, so I want to set up the car. Fuel and tyres. I want to go for soft tyres. Reduce the fuel. Three laps. Right, there we go. Tune car. Wow, that is a lot of tyre pressure. Uh, gear in, nope, nope. Yeah, I haven't got much to play with there, have I? I'll have to do. There's no way I'm running 40 or PSI on my front tyres. Well, enough of the steer problems without adding to it. I'll start off P12, why not? Safe to say, I have to come first place in this one. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Just check that's the same. 
four laps of fuel is 32% of this tank. Ooh. <clears throat> that is a lot of fuel to use up. Crikey. Okay. I mean, yeah, I've tuned it up and everything like that, but it's still thirsty. Right, let's see what performs like off the line. Good luck, so easy to go off the track of it. It is. <clears throat> it's that um, hill as well, when you go down the hill and you go around the uh, chicane or s pen That really catches me. I keep forgetting on that hill that, uh, take your time. Oh, that's, that is, oh, that is a lot better. Taking it wide so I don't hit anybody on the inside. I think anybody is, no. Wait for everybody to bunch out a little bit. Oh, that steering is so much better. Come on, guys. Cuddle up. Whoa. Go on, give me a penalty for it. That's totally my fault here. No. Oh, my gosh. You feeling all right? Wow, that is so much better to drive. Easy up. It is. How you doing there, buddy? You alright? There we go. Look at that. This car is so much better now. Ah, this one catches me out as well, to be fair. Through here. If you get it just right, you can pretty much go straight through that. Hard on the brakes. Hard on the brakes. Why my name changed from it's me. This hates me now. <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. It's probably because we're live and you subscribed, like, you know, so it's, uh, it's like, well. Sometimes for a low, you off to bed, though. All right. Uh, distraction. Sometimes when you comment, it says it's me, but when it notifies me that I've had a comment, it says Larry. So I'm like, okay. So I'm looking through the comments for Larry, and then I can't find them, and then oh, there's uh, yeah, those are the ones I haven't responded to. It's me. So yeah. I am not too sure, but uh, this is YouTube. But yeah. To be fair, I could have done with a few extra horses to catch up to these lot in front. I think it would have been a bit nicer. What are you doing? Oh, I messed that up. Oh, I'm so far away from them now. Alright, we have three laps to make this work. I'm lucky I don't get a penalty for that either. Come on, we can make this work. Three, four, three, two, break. Come on, we can get it out of this corner. Back down. A bit too early there. I do go quiet as uh, I am concentrating at the same time as going off the track like an idiot twice. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. You only live once. Have fun. This bit I don't like is this hill bit as well. The camber of the road is really weird through there, so... Am I excited for Brands Hatch? Oh yeah. I haven't even tried it yet, to be fair. Last time I have done a Brands Hatch, it must have been when I did the a set of Corsa um, Super Touring cars. That's the last time I've done Brands Hatch. So it's been a while. Oh, this is what I do all the time. 
Oh, I hate this track. I'll so laugh I'll get a penalty. 1.6? Yeah, Brad's Hatch is going to be absolutely brilliant. I think it's about time they brought it out for touring cars as well, to be fair, because it's pretty standard uh, track for UK touring. And most of the track in, in general anyway. It's going to be an absolute brilliant, um, brilliant addition. I'm also quite excited for when they bring out Bathurst as well. But I really quite enjoy that track. Um, it's down in Australia, isn't it? So that is a really fun track to also drive. Very narrow, very hard to overtake. I've never done done it, and I don't think it's uh, everything. To, it's on everything tonight, is it? When I am, uh, I think the track should be out now. To be fair, mate update 7 wasn't it that came out Monday Tuesday, Monday it's a brilliant little track there's usually two ways of doing it you get the uh, one that looks like an old phone way of doing it and another one which is quite a long version is what I did on ACC it's quite a long track very quick and a, very, a lot of, and a lot of blind corners on it. Five, four, three, two. Going too hot. Yeah, I don't like this track. Come on, rejoin. Oh, I got demoted down to 17th, yeah. Does not surprise me. You'll quite like Brands Hatch, I think, mate. It's a really nice track. They're doing um, shoot touring um, BTC, BTCC um, test there the other day. Some um, practicing and things like that. Setting up the cars. Um, over the last few days, which is actually quite good um, if you're into BTCC and I think at the end of this month uh, uh, Touring car racing is also coming to the UK and come on uh, Yeah Ooh. But yeah, we'll have to watch it that when it's on. Oops, shit. Thanks, mate. <laughs> uh, when it's on. Oh! <laughs> oh, dear me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm racking up the penalties here. Wait, oh, what are we watching? Some really bad driving on this track. That's all I can say. <laughs> I have distracted. I ah, don't mind, Mal. This is all fun, like you know. This is why I, I did pick online because I don't want to just take anybody else's race out for what I'm doing. Just doing this, just chatting away with you all, having uh, you know more contact than you know just on my Discord channel. So, um, L Dragon, if you're not part of the. Um, Discord, join it. The link should be at the bottom of the description. And uh, it's basically where we all hang out, chill out, and have a good laugh, really. There's a lot to um, to see on there as well. We post a lot of good, funny stuff, as well as a lot of learning stuff as well. And I'm quite in um, engaged with it. Although I haven't been in the last two days, I've been pretty ill. So I've been in and out, so like one minute I've replied to somebody, then I fell asleep because I've been pretty ill. Um, well, lucky enough, so my screen is right ahead of me, and to my 10 o'clock is 
my other panel and to my 11 o'clock just at the corner when the screen splits is the chat so I can see it but obviously I crashed a lot because I was getting quite distracted because Larry was distracting me I blame it all on Larry I can't uh, um, what yeah so you are that's not, and you're in a Ford that's not right mate is it come on man But yeah, so fair enough, actually. There's a lot of people I know on here. Come on, what did I get? Oh, there's another event after this one. What? Who's number one anyway? Coco B has Daniel Equinox, Rider the Third, Ipan Hero. Well, I've raced a lot of these. But yeah. To be fair, at least we finished the race, that's all I'm going to say. At least we finished the race and we didn't come dead last. Wow, I have got a lot of money. Only if it was real. Maple Valley. Oh, I don't mind this track. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to grumble like that. Uh, there's not much I can do. I, want to I don't want to stiffen them up. I want to sort out the diff. That's what I want to do. Uh, Drivetrain. Put a diff on it because it's... Flaming awful. Thank you. And confirm upgrades. Right, tune in. Let's sort this diff out because. Uh, I want that deceleration. Uh, which way was it again? Just the amount of torque that will transfer the wheels first. The differential allows the tyres. Yep, 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 yep. A limited slip diff locks to the preset points. I don't want it really locking at understeering. I'm going to back end to kick out a bit more though. Ugh. What are you doing? Oh, wait. No. Ah. Oh. Mouse is getting involved now. I want it that high. I do want it to lock. And, uh. Do you know what? I'm just going to leave it because I can't remember what I've set it at. Ugh. Stuff it. But yeah, so I don't understand where was we on that. Uh, we'll have to watch you when it's on. Seen it in Discord, you said it was on our TV. Oh, yeah, so um, going back to that, that was the TCR series. It's going to be on ITV4 and also on TikTok, so you can watch it live through there. Um, TCR series is basically like this. Uh, not this, um, my touring car series that I've done on YouTube. And it's not BTCC, because BTCC are, cars are much, much quicker and very different to touring cars. Touring cars is like the old BTCC used to be. And it's been starting to come up the ranks and become a little bit more popular over time. And it's actually pretty good to watch and a lot of the cars that you see on here um, I haven't seen an MG on there though I've seen the Peugeot, the Link Audi and Honda Civic and I think that's it but they do say the Link is the f isn't the fastest in the straight line but the Honda Civic the new Honda Civic that's come out is really good it is a very good car and it's very dominant on the track it keeps up because I was watching last year's one and I was watching them at bar first and the link was just about there but you can see the, the Honda Civics right up behind them um, pretty much just needed a few extra horsepower just to get past kind of deal um, I do also believe they're getting rid of the hybrid system for this year I could be wrong but there was discussion of getting rid of the hybrid system Oops. I pressed the green one and wanting more of a I'm gonna start further up I don't care about the money I've got plenty of money I'd rather I should get a first place um, they're going back to ballast for weight bias and things like that so to create cars a bit more even the Tory car series is very competitive it's funny enough the Audi isn't the one dominated either um, like it does on this game Oh yeah, fuel and tire. 
Just checking it's remembered it because it won't be the first time it hasn't remembered it. Let's go race. I think this year is going to be absolutely brilliant touring car series because, like I say, they've got the new Hondas and it's also got the older Honda, what you get on this game, within the same race, as well as the Audi and the Link. Now, the Links are very strong. They seem to be very good in cornering and handling. And well, there we go. Look at that. Maple Valley is pretty fun. I like this track. Whoa. Coming in hot. I quite like the track, I'm not going to lie. And we seem to be doing alright. I'm out of understeer. Yeah. Uh, well, that's not a bad way to start a race. Four sec Restarting. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, sorry I got distracted. So, Maple Valley, I quite like this track. It's an absolutely brilliant track. Uh, let's go up the pack again. Starting P6. I tell you what really catches me out of Maple Valley is the you go down the dip, go up through the dip. Poor guy, you just punted off. Yeah, I know this is why I chose to go on uh, uh, this. Oh wait, that's uh, only four laps there. Right, anyway, um, yeah, that got sent to oblivion. Um, and you go up the dip, you go round the bend, and then if you get it at the wrong speed. You got such a high chance of getting punted off track. It's absolutely unreal, and I think that is a place where I'm overly cautious on, just to try and not get uh, sent to the uh, shadow realm of the wall. Hey, that wasn't me. That wasn't. I was moving over to the right. Well, I get a good bit of uh, error wash on the cars in front. I'm going to back out from these because they're a bit unsure on what they want to do. Right, come on, power. You've got 460 on horsepower. you got it in you, come on. Ooh. 460 powers worth of understeer as well. Thinking about it, I should have actually lowered the suspension. Then it would have probably reduced a, a lot of understeer and as well as a lot of air wash because then the air doesn't get tucked underneath as much either. So, this is the corner about you go through here, lovely. Good bit of understeer there. I'll go down the gear. I take it quite tight but quite steady because the top of this hill, the Camelot Road, really does catch it. And then if you get this just right, you can pretty much go through here straight. Although I haven't mastered it all that well yet. But down here we go. Power on, you got it. How is this car gonna take this corner? Beautifully. Send it. Send it. Oh, and the brakes. Yeah, you back off. <laughs> Gotta watch it not to go over that line, you get a uh, off track. Oh, blimey, this car really does suffer with understeer. Just will not get that nose down. I mean, I wasn't even going through that corner that fast, it just would not turn, you could hear it. Tried dabbing the brakes just to get the weight on the front end, it just was not having it. Ooh. You have lost a lot of speed there, buddy, what's going on? This is what I look like when you get stuck behind AI, right, this is what I find weird is, you can be in front of AI and they can catch you up really easily. And then when you get stuck behind them, they're really weird. Like they're not sure what to do, so they break really early and things like that. It's like, come on, you don't even need to break through that bit. Oh, I've got some making up to do.
make it through this bottom section. Just gotta get past this thing. Better brace in this dip. God, blind me, get out of the way. What are you breaking for? Penalty? No! I definitely punted that person. To be fair, they're not that far ahead. Well, I backed out of that. Hey. Can't believe I'm getting bested by a Honda. Come on. Break. Ooh. So I mean the Alpine is right up behind me again, like suddenly they found uh where the braking zones are correctly instead of uh being all weird. Right. I don't know, it's just it's that kind of weirdness that uh, really so you don't need a brake going through here because the camera road really pushes you around. I'm gonna back out again. I also find that the AI brake in weird places that if you brake in that place as well, you would uh, like I have on a few occasions gone off track because you've massively upset the balance of the car. Right. Wow, they've had a really big speed boost on me there. Come on. To the right, to the right. That's it, girl. You got it. Turn. Yeah, I just sent them off track. No penalty for it, so I was definitely not at fault for it. Just like to point that out, there was no penalty. Oh, blimey. Why is it that corner? I just get caught up in a, a mountain of understeer that the car in front can take it. And I can't. I just don't get it. <sighs> Come on. Turn. Maybe this car wasn't the wisest of choices to take. I don't know what's wrong with it. I can pass this car, go through here. No, it's gonna cut me up. There we go. So, I'm not gonna be able to pass this car, go through here. But the problem I'm gonna have now is they're gonna start randomly breaking as they get to the bottom of this hill, which is gonna throw me right off. And the last thing I wanna do is get another penalty for it, so. I'm just gonna back out. Go on, power, power! Ugh, it's not bad. Done worse, I guess. Yeah, what is it with that like third corner? Where I'm just pushed off track no matter what, like the arrow or anything on it. I think it's definitely got to do with my suspension setup. Because I didn't do all that well with it. Fifth place, did I win the car? That's the question. Probably not. Could have done better. Oh definitely. Oh definitely. I got a medallion trophy. Congratulations, you've earned a medallion trophy for finishing fifth in the Force in the Race series. Accompanied by five grand. Thank you. I also got another 35 grand. Next series. What we got here? That's the six cylinder ones, isn't it? Should be. Which will be. Car of choice. Oh, so if I complete all these, I get that car at the end. Ooh. Okay. So we have... 
a play that I have no voice. What's the card choice, people? What do you think is going to be better here? What's our options? What shall we have? What do we all think we should go for here? We have the Supra a Skyline, a 2002 Skyline. Uh, we got the R32, I think that one is. 33, 34. A 370Z or a 350Z. What are we all thinking? I picked the GTO or Super if it weren't if it were me. Oh, what's that little circle there for? Hmm. If it were me, but yeah, I like those two cars. The GTO. Ah, oh, I haven't seen those in years. Used to be a person that lived not far from me that had one of those when I was younger. Great little sounding cars they were. Oh. Oh. I didn't see these bad boys here. So we've got BMW, BMW, Honda, pretty good car, Infinity, Maserati. It looks like a lot of the front end was missing when they made that one. There we go. Uh, the Skyline is a four wheel drive, though, isn't it? Where the Supra is a two wheel drive, if I remember correctly. Uh, we've got to see details. Ooh, I'm on the wrong page here. We got so yeah, it is. I was right. Oh, that is actually that much lower. It's a C class, is it? Hmm. So we have a Supra or GTO. GTO. What was that when it came out? That was a real four wheel drive, was it? Isn't? No, that was the Honda Prelude. I don't think that had it. Uh, the four wheel steering. Oh, yeah, it was the Honda Prelude that had that, if I remember correctly. I mean, I'm tempted to go for the Supra, to be honest with you. I mean, what's the power difference on them both? 320, 276. So that's the only reason this is a B, because of the four-wheel drive system. But that one does have more horses. Uh, I might have to go for the horsepower, because... Uh, horsepower equals more fun. So let's go for that. Uh, can we actually change? We can't paint the car, right? can we? Oh, we can. There we go. Colours. What shall we go for? What colours is everybody thinking we should have? It's all down to you. We have blue, red, black, silver, grey. That doesn't really look very shiny, to be fair. And white. I think white's not a good choice. I think uh, my choice is a black or red, to be fair. So what, what are we going to go for? Black, black it is. Black, black it is. Oop. Right, bye. Saving. We have. The GP circuit of the ring by looks like, but a shorter version of the GP circuit. Ooh, I'm not good at that track.
I mean, up to now, it doesn't look like I'm good at much, to be fair, anyway, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I am just going to put on racing tyres, but just because, uh, you know, it's going to cost me money, but I don't care. Wow, I can really put some wide tyres on the back end of that. Uh, get more car points. Yeah. Worth every penny. Rather have uh, tyres that work. Plus, I don't want to be uh, messing up more than what I already am, to be fair. Let's go. Mercedes Benz. Saying something to me, but it's not. I'll turn the volume off on it. Skip practice because how you only live once. And uh, even if I did practice, I'd be still terrible at it. There's no two ways about it. Uh, five laps of fuel and soft tyres. Go to race. I'm not starting that far down the pack. Here we go. The track is looking good. It's a good variety of cars, to be fair. It's nice to see. Oh, this person has 41 laps of fuel in them. 41 laps. Wow, that is a black reflective bonnet. I definitely just come out of the showroom. Ooh, good start for the line. Probably could have done with a few extra horsepowers, but what we don't have in horsepower, we will have in cornering abilities. Oh, mate. Give people room, man. Give people room. I say it's not my fault. cloud of anything though. Unless there's someone beside me. Yeah, this person. AI seems very aggressive. Wasn't it used to be a day that Forza used to say that the AI learns from multiplayers and things like that? So it used to learn, the driver tried to call it, they still call it that now, but they used to learn from online players. Is that still a thing these days? Okay, yeah, so this car could have done with a few extra horsepowers. Because I am not winning in a straight line here. But it does have a very good cornering. Where is that? I found her, the understeer limit. You breaking mid corner for man? It's 
So I get past this car. So happens when you get close to the AI, they start doing some weird, sketchy stuff. I'm not too sure what that's all about. I mean, they've obviously had their cars tuned up because that technically has less horsepower than I do. So, although I went for tyres, hmm, we're gonna have a hundred board, a breaking. Chucking it through there just nicely. Got past that car. Two more laps, and then hopefully we'll catch up them to them in front. It's all down to hopefully. Was it that in car in front? Is it uh, Nissan or Infinity? Certainly don't think I'm going to catch up to P1, but... Yeah, I should have tapped in for a few extra horses. But it is what it is. So I never heard. <laughs> this is the first time hearing a standard. To Jay Z, <laughs> it sounds really weird. You usually hear them with, you know, the world's biggest turbos on them and really loud exhaust, and this sounds just so weird to me. Sort of like a um, BMW kind of M3 kind of engine noise, or the straight six engine noise. Brakes are taking care of me. Give a bit of space, buddy. Take this one narrow because I've been taking it really wide. Luckily enough, I don't have the issue of having too much horsepower and it creating a monumental amount of oversteer. What I do have is a very reflective bonnet that I think feels like it's turned in more than what it has. That's not too bad though, P3 of a box down the car. I mean, what's that in front? Is that an M3 in front? Hard to tell. Breaking the 100 board. Nope, it's an infinity. It is like a mirror, it's got a little bit of reflection to it. Just come out of the showroom, you know. Beautiful finish. Had it all polished up for this race. I was getting it right at the rev range. Oh, it's the side of it. The side of it's got punished. That's not bad, P3. On the track I'm not very good at. Hmm. Now, I do need to put the world's biggest turbo on it because that was a bit slow
but P3 is uh, not too bad. At least the, uh, the scratch is buffed out. Hockenheim ring. Uh, trying to remember this track now. Light rain as well. Joys. Absolute joys. Is this the time to put the world's biggest turbo on it? Oh, i got to stay in. What's my maximum I'm allowed to go to? Uh, I presume it's the highest is B. Because the current doesn't say. Hmm. It doesn't say. So it must mean I can go as high as I like then. Can only presume. 587 horsepower. It might be a bit much, but hell. Um, why not? Isn't it? You know. Ah, do you know what I am going to do? Have better brakes. Uh, oh, that's drift suspension, no one that. Uh, road bars. Uh, we want a bit of ballast, do we? I mean, we're an S. Problem is, if I upgrade, then I'm pretty sure the AI will also upgrade. It's not like I'm going to upgrade and just, like, hammer past everybody. So, I've also got to be mindful of that. Oh, I definitely want a better sound exhaust. And a better airport. Alright, what we're running at now. 700 horsepower is going to be an absolute animal to hold on to. Oh, okay. You can't apply your build to the following reasons. Above target PI. Okay. But what is the target PI? I'm going to... Do you know what? Quit exit without saving. The limit... Oh, limit is highest as B. Ah, okay. That's my bad. Blind as a bat. Okay. Well, I am going to go for the better brakes anyway. And... Uh, I'm going to change gear a bit quicker. That, that is definitely going to be helpful. As well as... I mean, these... I could do with an extra horsepower, though. If I can get it to... PI 600. Oh, blimey. You don't really get much movement. 345. What do I get out of an exhaust? Three, uh, 347. Okay. I mean, it already has a turbo on it. No. Do you know what? I'm just go for the breathing. That's 347. And uh, so it'll push me over in it. Yeah, anti robot, I should have known. Brands Hatch is the first medium length touring car race of the week. Oh, yeah, it's got midnight now. It's all changed over, isn't it? That is gonna be good. Get more car points. I'll have that. Thank you very much. Very cheap. I think they should have actually uh, raised the price a little bit on that. Just saying. Because that upgrade, 1,000, you know, you're earning 15 grand a race, and then when you upgrade, level up your car, you get another 35, 22 to 35 grand. I think the should CP points the transfer rate should be a little bit higher. But Brands Hatch being the first medium length touring car race of the week does sound awesome. I'm going to massively enjoy that. Is it the... What kind of track... What um, track is it? Is it the one that looks like an old telephone? Um, or is it the full circuit though? Because that is a huge difference as well. We'll put on wet tyres. Be interesting to see how many people go off, to be fair, because that first corner after the start of finish line, that camera, that road, if you kept... Oh, full circuit. Brilliant news. Love it. 
Yeah, I was going to say, because that camera, that road, I'm gonna, the amount of people that's going to go off track on that is going to be unreal. Um, yeah. Crikey. Because that first corner, as well as the last corner as well, as you're coming up towards the start of finish line. If you take that wrong as well, I did it in AC, where I took that corner just a little bit wrong, clipped that curb, and I was on two wheels coming around there, a bit like the old BTCC was. I went on two wheels. That was a giggle, and a lot of uh, stuff came out of areas that I shouldn't have. I was very uh, like, oh, it's a rolling start. Okay. Two, one, activate. Ah. Oh. Way, all the AI suck themselves out. Good on you. Steady, steady, that's it. That's it. Oh, this better gearbox is, uh, Sucked up behind them then. I wish they would do uh, two seconds, a sharp corner, I'll be with you. <laughs> Bit of unsettling through there. You break your force wide. Oof. Wish they would do roller starts and multiplayer if it's raining. Yeah, that would be quite good. I think rolling starts would be quite good if they did a few rolling starts in general anyway. I'm going through here very slow. Well, actually, just right. I don't mind a good old rolling start. I'm used to rolling start from ACC to be fair. Yeah, I think I found a glitch on GT races with a car that's not there. Ah, see that? The car that's not there on GT races is a known issue with service. Ooh, come back on. Oh, the golf track. Yeah. Um, where the cars randomly turn invisible for no reason. Uh, where you can't see that player but that player can see you. So, there's been occasions where on videos, like my videos, I said they were playing rabbit. Sometimes that player doesn't actually know that I am there. Which, uh, just keep things interesting. Ooh, somehow we managed to uh, save that. I've driven that Ford GT and I find it massively underpowered. I don't know if they changed it. Like I say, it's been a long time since I've done GT racing in Forza. But I always found that uh, that Ford GT seemed to be hugely underpowered compared to the rest of the pack. I ended up going with the Corvette um, due to having a, a better sounding engine. Um, that was actually my point of choice, really. But then the Corvette was very twitchy. I am not a fan of this bonnet. Because the reflection is making me feel like I've turned more than I have. And it's put, <laughs> it's quite off-putting. Yeah, I've got off track now. Got a huge, uh, huge... No? Scout, so really, you gonna put a message like that? I'm gonna try and read that, man. <laughs> uh, I'm sort of cutting up at the BMW on the inside. I only seen one person use it earlier and demolished the race. 
It may have had changed since I've last used it. I thought I thought it was underpowered. It did handle well though, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. Saved it again. Well, I, no, it was all planned. You know, it wasn't uh, a mistake. It was, it was definitely planned. Just saying. Uh... I'm racing, so read in a bit. <laughs> oh, this weather is changing. Come on, stay on the track. That is good. Let's go do a little bit more downforce on the front. But to be fair, it handles really well. I'm sort of glad with this weather that I didn't go for the engine upgrade. Uh, you know. All that extra horsepower would have made this car a bit undrivable. So we got... Um, so got it from P1. Right there. See what I mean? Twice now. Don't give me a yet. Thank you. What's anyone else? Uh, the Ford GT isn't all that popular, oddly enough, I don't think. I say, I've got it in my garage, I don't really use it. <coughs> I quite like the Ford GT. I do think it, I think it does sound, doesn't sound so good. Um, and it really doesn't have a top end grunt it needs. It is a little bit underpowered. I mean, don't get me wrong, I understand it's a V6 compared to most of the other cars of V8s and V10s, but uh, it does put up a strong point. But on a run, the V6 is what lets it down. It hasn't got enough push compared to a, uh, a V8 has. Go on, get this BMW. On the inside line, he's got it done. How do you know that car in front's breaking? The lights are always the same brightness. Ooh. Oh, held it. Held it. A master in disguise. On the last corner as well. That was a, uh, that was a lot of skill. That was just saying. That was a lot of skill. No luck was involved in that uh, last little bit. Oh, that's not bad though. Am I holding the best lap on here as well? One forty six point oh. One forty. Yeah, I am. Hmm. Not bad at all. So let's have it. I made the podium this time. My very, very shiny black car. So what do we have here? We are next track, Hakone. Oh, wet as well. Five laps in the wet. Oh, my limit's gone up to A class. Sweet. Well, you know what that means. Twin turbo. Oh, brings me to an S. Oh, what? Well, so depressing. I mean, how much horsepower difference? Oh, it's a hundred horsepower difference, man. Oh, okay, okay. So my choice was... I have a choice of 505. Uh, it's got a racer filter. If I put cams on it, that's 467. And if I increase the displacement, ooh, it's looking good. I mean, it'll be great, but 
good. Or what's that? It's gonna be good. Five or eight. Uh, five eighteen. I mean, displacement pushes me higher up to the number stack as well. So five, five sixteen, five oh eight, or five eighteen, six ninety four. Ah, do you know what? Everybody likes a better ring. Ooh, that pushes me over. Okay, we have now. Not much room to play with. 531, 701. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Oh, that's a jump. Worth it. Worth it. Get my car points. See, I've done all those upgrades. <coughs> and are you sure you'd like to get 800 car points for 7,200 credits? I can't be right. Is that all the car points I need? Okay. I mean, the credits is quite low, cost-wise. Oh, Dragon, you still there, buddy? Gone all quiet, man. I quite like this track to be fair. It is on my nice track list. Skip practice. I don't want that. Yeah, I'm just checking out the 4 GT we're talking about. Oh yeah, I quite like it. It looks good, but it handles much, much better than the Corvette does. Uh, oh, it's telling me, it said medium to wet. So overcast to wet, I don't know. I'm going to go for soft tyres, and if I have to go to the pits, I have to go to the pits, and I? Uh, I'm not going to start that, that far down the pack. I mean, really, you're not saving. It's a grand. I usually use the Viper's GT. Oh, that Viper does sound good. Good, does sound good. I mean, what's the Viper like, though? Because, like I say, the GT races on here, I find the cars very twitchy. Due to not being able to control... You know, like you can in ACC and other um, GT3 more style games where you can control the traction control, ABS, fuel maps and things like that. I find the cars on here very twitchy. <coughs> Water. We are pushing out some serious power. I will spin off the line. I mean, I really should have just put all of it in horsepower because I've just smoked it past everyone. Okay, so the horsepower idea was definitely worth it because I'm going to have a great run in the straight. Going through. Oh, that's a mount of understeer as well. I should have put downforce on. Anyway, I'm going to restart. Now I can uh, understand the car. Yeah, it is twitchy, but with the right tune, it's a grip monster. Oh, yeah. That, to be fair, though, that is where I went wrong on the um, testing out GT, GT cars. I didn't put a tune on it. I went vanilla straight in because at the time the game was just released. I wanted to see what GT3 like, what touring was like. So tuning wasn't as known as it is now that to have a good car you need to tune it uh, go race yeah because this is what I, I do find a bit skew with about this game is that you have to tune a car to get the handle the way a normal car should you know the tune should be getting you temps here and there not making a car drivable Yeah, you're right. The default tune is horrendous. I learned my lesson there.
Get off. Like, the track's wide enough. Why are you hitting me? Ooh, sliding. Power. Power. This thing has a lot of power. I have to take a steady through here because I went off track last time. How's that skyline doing better than me? I'll come back with your horsepower. Oh yeah, look at the speed of carrying now. Under the second Hakoni sign and brake. I'm breaking before I'm, I'm bottling it. Good job I bottled it because I was straight off track. Maybe I should have added downforce to the front. You know, just a little bit, just saying. Because this car could do with some of it. This bonnet is really off putting. Yeah, like I say, I think the default tune should be the car is great. Like it would come out of the box kind of great. Um, and then a tune should be getting you the attempts here and there that you're looking for. Like, you know, change the tyre pressure, gear ratios and, and adjusting the anti-roll bars for the tracks and the kerbs rather than um, making it drivable. I think that's where things went a little bit wrong. Come on, I got you on horsepower. Yeah. I'm braking earlier this time. That's, I, I made it. I'm in P1. Force power for the win. Turn in, you got it. Using the curb, rotate and power on. Four seconds a slap faster. One twenty four to time to beat. The problem is now I've got nobody holding me up, so I'm going to go brute force all out. That's where I go off track like a numpty. Let off through this little bit. Dab on the brakes, get the front end down, and then power back on. Rather lose a few temps, going a bit slower, and then you keep it on the track than pushing myself stupidly and going off track because of it. And again, breakage before the sign when the curb starts. I've got quite a lead. Oh god, VIR is on the tracks for this week. You'll be skipping that one. Yeah, it's not a track I usually go on. I've done it once, and I realised it's uh, it's an absolute chaos is the best way of putting it. I mean, it's so all over the place with drivers. you got to understand, like, you know, as well as I do, um, not everybody's coming into this right now as... Yeah, it's just cars everywhere. But not everybody's coming in like I am every day where I've done this track a hundred times, so I know this track very well. You know, some people are brand new to the track their first day out, never seen the sunlight before, and... They've just come onto here, and they're a bit all over the place. So you got. I must always remind myself that I was new as well, and I'm still new. I'm still learning every day, and um, you know, it's such a track that nine times out of ten, if something was to go wrong, it's going to affect you rather than that sole person. Uh, 
and that's why they need to fix my yeah yeah I did a video on it the other day I've got um where they don't use your skill rating my skill rating I, you know I don't actually check it um I really don't care because the same with my driver safety rating um whether it's A, B, C, D honestly I couldn't really care because there's so many elements that are out of your control that's affecting it you know if you get a penalty for being bashed into um although like I say every race I do is recorded you know I get a penalty for a race where there's something that was out of my control that's then going to negatively affect my driver rating um it's not something I'm going to sit there and care about when it's something that's steady out of my control I mean I love it it says in the um if you look at your skill rating number that this is the primary matchmaking matchmaking thingy um just makes me laugh how that is so not the case I think it's a bit terrible for that way and I think the main reason behind it a lot of the reason behind they haven't adjusted that and fixed it is due to the lack of players I mean to me I would rather have and I've had better races with um, five or ten cars in a lobby than I have with a full lobby I mean I did a race a while ago and I think there's only four of us in a lobby including me so four cars in the whole race and yeah I lost I'm happy to lose you know I can't be expected to win everything I'm more than happy to learn and lose <coughs> and it was some of the best race I had you know I qualified I got P1 um, but during the race I was get they were on me, on me the pressure on me was quite a lot they were right up my back end and because they're so close and the pressure's on you start making these silly little mistakes that then cost you time and it was pretty much like that really that's what happened to me and I ended up coming last and to be fair though they were quick I think it was at Watkins Glen and whilst I was behind them I learnt a lot from following and watching them um, because they were so much quicker in some aspects of the track than me Suzuka ooh I've not done this track in a while not the full one anyway. The view um what am I looking at? Yes. Uh I don't think I need to add any more horsepower. Can I add downforce and it not affect my PI? I mean I don't know how it's adding speed. I mean, I don't care about... Well, it really kills your speed, but handling? Speed down 0.5, but your handling's up 0.1. To me, that's really not worth it. Wow, that's a big spoiler. I mean, that's a better looking one. Oh, we get a choice of race spoilers. Hmm. Well, it really does end up killing your top speed. But it doesn't affect your... Oh, it brings my PI down. That's good. I want to smash on a big front bumper as well. Have better downforce because better downforce is better. I mean, I have the top speed. What's the point of a bonnet? Yeah, I'm not fussed about that. Oh, wait. Back to upgrades. What's gone up? Ah, uh, okay. I mean, uh, it doesn't really do anything anyway. Get more car points. Thank you very much. Continue. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, 
matchmaking does kind of uh, isn't the best, really, which is a shame. I do hope they do fix the matchmaking issue. I, like I said, I'd rather have a smaller lobby with competitive people from the same skill level or around that ballpark of skill level than be put into a lobby where on the first corner I have 19 cars plowing up the back of me. But uh, skip practice. I think that is the better way to go. Oh, I'll tell you what. Uh, tune car. I want to add a downforce. Arrow. Uh, I'll leave that as that. What's my tyre pressure's like, anyway? Wow, that's a lot of air. Probably why I'm getting a mountain of understeer. Okay. Fuel and tyres. We are going for softs again. Don't know why there's a pick soft for default. Go race. Been a while since I've done this track, the long version. I'm very good at the short version. Um, Pull my own trumpet there. I quite like the uh, short version of the track. Good race. It's going to be very interesting to see how this goes on. I mean, it should handle a lot better now we've got a lot of downforce in the front. One, go. What the power this thing has. Look at it go. Breaking. Oh, blimey, how much room do you need? I seriously, move. So the AI is allowed to bash into you, but you can't bash into them. Hmm. This car handles so well. It's just the bonnet is off button. I don't know who chose black. You know, but... <laughs> oh, I'm handling this thing. Ooh. Cut the corner. Seems like a, a good looking choice. But uh, on the bonnet shiny uh, reflective front. <laughs> it pretty much feels like that because I'm watching the bonnet and the reflection I'm watching the reflection like because you can't miss the reflection and it's like I'm, not, I'm looking at the on screen again um you look at that reflection, you go, oh, right, I'm turning more than I have. And you haven't turned that much. And it's, yeah, it's pretty trippy. There's no two ways about it. It's pretty trippy. Like this, I'm not catching up this BMW. Horsepower, come on. Ooh. I didn't accelerate. Don't give me a pen. Oh, I mean, I could live with that. I did exactly what you did to me, mate. To be fair, he did it back to that car. Oh, what? No, I'm not putting up with that. Restart. Ugh. Yeah. It is awful because, like I say, you go around the corner and you're thinking, yeah, yeah, I sent it bad. Uh, <laughs> and you're thinking, oh my gosh, like, you know, I've turned it more than I am. And then you're not, you realise you've not actually turned all that much. So you're letting off the steering before you need to. Really, it is quite off button. But 
I'm really enjoying the way this car handles now. It is absolutely brilliant. Just need to get past these cars in front at the start line. And make sure I don't get pinned again like I did a minute ago. Come on, power. All the horses in the world. You got them. Everybody's going wide. I'm going in shallow. Getting hit from behind. Power. Oh yeah, I'm not going to get a penalty. I got hit from behind. Two NSXs up in front. Very good handling cars they are. But they're not very common anymore. I don't really see them. I know they're getting on a bit, but... You know, they were... Would you ever class them as popular? You know, like the Mitsubishis and the Subarus were. I think they were massively underrated. I mean, um, that guy from Pulp Fiction had one, didn't he? He had a Honda NSX. What was he called? What are you breaking for? Whoa! I got sent into by an M3. I guess uh, what goes around comes around on that one. Uh, it came back on me. Get off the dirt. Well, I can't believe I just got sent into by AI. What oh, a dive bombed into me. Oh yes, now we got it. We've got the horsepower, come on. Oh, that was lovely. Survive that corner. Woo. Steady on. We did catch up to that car then. We're going to make it work. We have the horsepower to beat him. And the skill level of a penguin. There we go. Coming in now. I am actually surprised at how well this super handles. You know, it's holding its power really well. Can step out a little bit when you push it to. Um, and it's ha you can hold it when it does step out as well, which is really nice. Uh, it handles much, much better than that Subaru I had. I'm actually quite surprised at how well it does handle, like, you know? Not really had that much work done to the handling. So a racing gearbox makes all the difference, though. You can clip through gears so much quicker. Uh, I'll stay behind this car for a minute. To the last lap and now I'm making my move. God blimey, how slow was you going through that corner? I think they're trying to prove a point. Just freak him out a little bit. They're easy to freak out the AI. Actually, a little bit of understeer through that. That's where unusual is not unusual to get understeer. We have some bad singing right there. Won't make move yet. We'll play with this car for a little minute until the last lap. See what I mean? If you break mid corner like that, you'll be sent off to oblivion. I look at how the AI can do it. If I break mid corner like that, I'll be skidding off elsewhere. I can see a big wheel in my bonnet. Someone chose the colour. Break in a minute. 
So I thought the AI would have gone a little bit quicker through here and then you break for this corner. Because you can take the top half, the first part of the corner, really quick. I mean, I've got to be honest, this car handles better than the touring cars going through here. I mean, I do about 75. I do about 75 in the MG coming through here. There's a little bit of understeer there, but... It does seem to handle better than the touring car. Then again, it is real-world drive as well, though. There is that. But the MG is one-wheel drive. Ooh, nearly messed this corner up. I wonder with the, all the update and everything that's gone on, what the new Meta car is going to be. What well, they're going to call the Meta car anyway. Whether it would be the Lavorg now because of tyre wear and its power, or whether it be the Audi again because, as far as I understand, the MG's had a good power nerf, so has the Peugeot. So, does the Mercedes are still the same? The Ford is the Mercedes still the same? It might be the same still. And the Ford Focus is also still the same. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Because don't forget, the Lavorg is real wheel drive, so it's absolutely amazing on tyres. Lavorg still felt slow, did it? On the straights. I mean, what's it like a slipstream? Like I said, I don't have the DLC. So for me, I can never judge. I'm only judging on the vanilla base game. So to me, um, I had a friend of mine who had the, the Lavorg. And it was an absolute, he was an absolute animal with it. The way he could handle that car, you know, it was always in P1 position with it. You know, there's no two ways about it. Um, down to the corner and abilities and the slipstream of that vehicle as well like it was absolutely brutal car see well, this is where the Honda um, makes its debut because it's extremely good in the slipstream and really good in cornering but it's not good at leading the pack where the MG is great at leading the pack but it's not good at being behind somebody because I find it does suffer badly from air or wash from the car in front. It's not the best on tyres. The Peugeot, I have no idea. I've just seen people, they do keep up with me in the Peugeot. The Audi, I think overall is always the best one overall, but I've never driven the Audi. Um, so I can't comment on that. I went straight from the Civic to the MG, so. So you think it still feels a bit slow, but could have um, could have been the tune. But if it still felt slow, it's not going to be um, the tune that's oh! saved it, saved it. Um, the tune that makes it power slow. Because I don't know. Could have been high downforce, is what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, I always run. <coughs> I always run high downforce on the front, and zero downforce on the rear. But considering that car's rear wheel drive, I probably presume that you need that downforce on the rear to make it uh, stick a little bit better. I'm not too sure. We win the race, we win the race, we win the race. Not too bad. Great work out there. Our points are quite high, which is nice. Not bad at all. Next 
series. What's the... Oh, I think we've finished the series, have we? Ooh, V8 Heritage. Can be like driving a little school bus. What are uh, what our are our choices of cars? A Holden Monaro, Plymouth Pontiac, Oldsmobile. I gotta be honest, I'm aiming for the uh, Holden Monaro. I'm just going by the size, really, because I'm trying to find one that's going to handle the best. Oh wait, there's more here. Why does it start you off in the middle then? Dodge Charger, AMC, Buick, Chevys. I don't want to go for a big school bus. Uh, what is the handling? Ooh, handling is diabolical. The Dodge Coronet, Coronet Super B. It's the best handling up to now. At a 1.4. Doesn't look like a car that has good handling though, does it? I mean, that car looks like it would handle better, but apparently not. Hmm. AMC Rebel. He's got higher top speed as well. He's got a level top speed. I mean, I think it's the best overall car there. 3.1. Yeah. I think it might be a case of we go for that one. I won't pick purple, though. I just... Uh, Chevy Nova... I don't know, I just feel that that one looks like it handles much better. I mean, don't forget, it is an E-Class, so I can bump it up. Do you know I'm going to go for the Holder Monaro? Just because it was my first choice of a picking. And uh, I'm not letting you pick the colour this time. We're going to go for blue. And I guarantee that bonnet is going to be just as reflective. Oh, dear. That's going to be the most reflective bonnet besides the black Supra. That'd be my luck. Okay. We have that track. I uh, We can bump it up to a C. So, the first thing I'm going to go for is tyre compound. Race. Uh, tyre width increase. Increase. My dad raised me as a Chevy boy. And I would have taken the Chevy, but I'm biased. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, back to upgrade. To be fair, to be fair, I totally understand what you're saying on that. Chevys are pretty nice cars. But I want something that can get me around the track, not just in the straight line. Chevy's great for straight line stuff, though. What would you gone for? The Chevy SL or Chevy Nova? Um, SO, SS, Chevy Nova. Uh, do you know what? Uh, well, we've done uh, tyres and brakes. I'm also going to smash on some suspension. Wow, we have a lot of play room to go through. Like, that's absolutely crazy. We only had a D. Uh, Chevy SS. Wow, oh, it's a big old vehicle, that one. Big old bus, that one. Oh, that's not really giving much power. i tell you what. Smash a big turbo on it because, you know. Ah, uh, actually. I'll put one of them on. Oh, no. Uh, back to upgrades. Oh, now we're in C. Positive displacement supercharger.
Well, you know, if you're not turbo in it, where's the fun? Ooh. It's taking away a lot of playroom. Yeah, first thing I would have done with it is weight reduction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's that. There's definitely that. Right, we've done that. And... Uh, uh, so I'm going to put that on and then I'm going to add some rear wing to knock me back down. Ooh, that's a, a little wing. That's a little wing. Wait. I add more weight to the back end by taking away two bits of metal and adding a uh, a tag and it bumps my PI up. That is quite uh, a thing to think about. So my PI goes up because of coolness rating. Did I get a red label? I don't know. Anyway, <coughs> we are in get more points. 45 grand. Might as well get it. To be fair though, with the Chevy SS, you could barge people out of the way. I'm gonna be I am going to be barged out of the way. There's no two ways about that. Uh, uh Lows on the front, nothing on the rear, and uh, I'm happy with that. I'll add a bit to that, up to six, and uh, reduce that down a bit. Let's go. First track, Laguna. I quite like this track. Definitely in my top five tracks. Getting it just right is lovely. Let's go. Uh, the short layout looks, looks close to the original track laid out in the 1950s. A little bit before my time. Ah, oh, I pressed down. I don't want to do practice. Car, car sounds good though. Skip. Skip. Don't worry about the points. We have dollars for that. Coming in hot. <coughs> Guys just say to me, go on, mate, you, you, you was out quick. So, I know. Right, so let's go to car, fuel and tire. We're going to go for softs. Reduce this fuel. Seven laps, sounds good to me. Go to race. I'm going to start in P6. Not fussed about the money. This is the same track layout that you do on the qualifier series, isn't it? For Laguna Seca. On the touring car, sorry. Good, why is that? Well, that is a high up the rev range. Power. Not a lot of it. People are still getting away from me. Well, I don't have in power then, I'll have in handling. A bit of door banging. Come on. Ooh, do you know what I should have put on here? It's a race gearbox. I think I'm going to run out of gears. Oh, mate, what are you breaking for? I love that. Scared the AI into uh, backing out there. You back out. There we go. Beautiful.
I think they could have done with a limited slip dip in the rear as well, to be fair. Could hear the inside tyres scrubbing. How many gears has this car got anyway? Oh, that's it. Okay. Not really spot for choice here then. Oh, look at that. Handling pays trumps here. Ooh. Go on, off the track you go. Oh, what? I was hoping I'd pull him off the track. Ah. P5. We have a little bit of room from P1, which is not nice. Going through here a little bit slow, guys. To try and make that move. Come on the inside. Oh, nope, he's swinging it right there. I'm certainly not winning in the horsepower department. I should have put a race gearbox on this. Because I think that would have massively helped. Oh! Oh, thank God for that. Give him a little nudge. Ooh, got a warning for that. That's good. I mean, it would be nice if I didn't get a warning, but... A warning is better than a penalty. We've got the move done. Ooh. Yeah, race gearbox would have massively helped because the time it takes you to change gears is quite a lot. There's not much in the gear ratios either. So I think that's where a lot of time and a lot of power has been lost. Power. How did he get the car to turn like that? If I turn like that, I'll be over in the, in the hedge somewhere. I'm really flinging the car over. Oh, come on. Oh, they just have that extra bit of horsepower on me. Trying to get this, uh, we're gonna break here, which is really annoying. Ooh, going a bit through power, a bit sloppy through there. Oh, that is bouncy. Yeah, I totally destroyed that person's race right there. There's no two ways about that. That could have got bounced. Oh, I can't believe I took that car right off track. <sighs> oh, the understeer. Why is it understeering so much? Hey, buddy, how's it going? How you doing, my man? You alright? It is going alright here. Um, the car could do another gearbox and probably about 50 more horsepower. Uh, I'm at the top of the rev range here. And although it has race suspension, I think it has race suspension. Might be so sure. It is a bit sloppy. Come on. You can do it. They're going to cut me up. Don't give racing room. Send them off track. Doing good. Just chilling. How's your day been? How's it going alright? Come on, I can get this place. I can get this place. You got it. Steady. 
There we go. I could also do a little bit of slip death as well because uh You can hear that inside wheel scraping up, ripping up the black stuff. Not much, bit of work then. Uh, good dinner. What'd you have for dinner? I scroll on YouTube. Nice man, nice. <clears throat> What's for dinner? Ah oh, yes. This time I didn't take him off track. Just see the greasy part, I like the sound of that. We have greasy ass uh, pizza. Oh, that's nice. Oh, what did I have for tea? I had chicken tikka. And chips and bread and butter. Pizza sounds good though, but uh, I had pizza over the weekend. Wasn't greasy though. I'm not a massive um, fan of greasy pizza, to be fair. Like, you know, Domino's stuff, I find it comes... Uh, you pick a slice up, well, it might be just our Domino's. But you pick a slice up, and uh, the cheese and the cheese stay with the cheese that's attached to. No. 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 I'm not allowed to. My track. Um, <coughs> that was lucky. Um... So you're picking up just the bread. Um, it's a bit too greasy. Well, Pizza Hut is just about right where we are. It's quite nice. Not too... But what toppings do you have in your pizza though? That's the big question. That is the question. Oh, I just beat FedEx. I think that's the part we all want to know. What was the topping on that pizza? Oh yes. Uh, ooh! I had mushrooms, olives, onions, and cheese. That is a choice. Mushrooms and olives. With onion. Oh, I get the onions because onions and cheese taste great. Olives. <laughs> no pineapple. Hey, there's a wrong with pineapple on pizza. I'm going to start that one off for you all. Pineapple on pizza is the best thing since sliced bread. Uh, continue. Performance. I'm going to go for a racing gearbox. Oh, it pushes me over the limit. That one doesn't know. I am leaving. <laughs> to be fair, I don't have pineapple on pizza. It is, uh, uh, what is the word? It's definitely not my cup of tea. Uh, but then again, I don't like mushrooms either. So that is not my cup of tea either. So, uh, oh, yes, it doesn't push me over. Yay. It's all right, but not my favorite. Yeah, that's fair. Get more car points because you know I've got money to spend. It's a shame it's not real money. Um Ooh. But yeah. Okay. What is your favourite topping on pizzas? What is everyone's favourite topping on pizzas? Now I've got to say my favourite pizza has to be uh, a normal base, a stuffed crust with barbecue sauce, cheese, chicken, and bacon. Uh, I don't care about practice, let's go. We have scouser in with pepperoni or all meat. All meat is a good choice. I don't like just having pepperoni, I like to have a um, bit of meatball, a bit of spicy beef. We have one here at NYP. Barbecue Meat Lovers has bacon, beef, salami, chorizo, and barbecue sauce all over it. God, that sounds good. 
<coughs> that sounds real good. Difficulty, great racing for more challenging. Yeah, well, or whatever. I'm at level six. Brands hatch on TC in 25 minutes. Have you seen my driving scouts? Like, you know, it's not really good that I join whilst I'm alive. Makes you thirsty for the rest of the night, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, especially with all those spices and salts in it. But it's worth it. Absolutely worth it. Oh, yeah. I should, I should change my... Uh, Ah, uh, I didn't adjust the car. 12 laps. Lovely. Okay. I didn't adjust the car much. Never mind. Now you know who I learned to be driving from. Hey, man, you messed up wrong with my driving. It's uh, opportunist. Oppa, oppa, opportunist driving. That's what my driving is. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's uh, not so good. A bit like the yellow wheels on the car in front. Choice was there, but it's not so good. And I went, uh, I'm not going to say what I'm going to say, because it's going to sound totally weird. Get off me. Move over. Turn your wheel to the left. Yeah, I've got another gear now. Get our tail out. Yellow wheels, come on through. Oh. Ah, it's a good bit of understeer through there. Bit of tail out then. A few bit of the AI is hitting the wall. This track has got a mass of the speed around the bend, and that's where you capitalise. So looking about 100, 105, getting a tail out, just like that, coming out the corner, <coughs> and then this one here, we're getting about 105, let coast through, power on, this thing is so, Ooh. the AI is not on my side talking about greasy food had a really good hot dog in Manchester a couple of times oh, it's been such a long time since I've been to Manchester it's been years was it uh, a normal sausage hot dog not from the UK but uh, god it was good fun you can't have fun now. <laughs> oh, it said we've had the warmest uh, March and April on record, but it's done nothing but rain, and it hasn't been that warm. Um, last year was definitely a lot warmer than this year, so I don't know what they were taking, but it certainly wasn't the truth. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so your the hot dog though was it like a normal, like a uh, it was a big sausage and a baguette or something? Yeah. To be fair, we do do things, especially when you get the uh, the correct type of sausage as well. Like you know, we put our spices in our sausages and different herbs and stuff like that. Oh, they could come out absolutely amazing. We get a little bit of food festival one now and again where we are very expensive though, and they do some really good hot dogs. But uh, if you're looking at about seven pound a hot dog. And yeah, you get a beer with it as well that like you put on there. Lots of beer made it even better, of course. Yeah. Looks like our kebabs, to be fair. So where are you from, anyway? What part of the world are you from? And then you come to visit us. Uh, too busy reading chat. I'm stuck against the wall, like, like generally stuck. My steering's to the left. I got severe vehicle damage. A lot is happening right now. That's funny. That is absolutely funny. Okay, back to start again. 
Netherlands, man. Other side of the pond. Oh, nice. I was in uh, Belgium a few weeks ago. The AI isn't on. Yeah, it can be. It can be. Especially when they don't have the brain cell to move out of the way, like, you know. AI is. It is. It is absolutely awful. It's like they don't know where to be, and then they cut you off or they hit you or whatever. I just don't know. Oh, I think we've got people that know each other. What is a killing? <clears throat> Let's go for the hundredth of time. Right, this time. Yeah, I sort of did that to myself. I should have actually paid attention to who was to my left hand side. Uh, oh, not you. Oh, no, I don't want to leave a vent. I want actually want to actually get around this track without doing something to myself this time. Uh, some bad driving there on my part. Managed to get myself pit maneuvered. Okay, okay, this one is going to work, and I'm not going to get distracted by reading chat. I don't know why it stopped me off in this gear, it just stopped me off in a second, I'm already in the red line. Right, number to my left, I'm going to go in. AI, you have plenty of room, stay away. Look at that! Seriously? <clears throat> AI needs some help. Oh, what was I reading the other day? That Forza is trying to bring out something like GT7 Sophie? to do the AI. Um, anybody else heard about that? Well, they're trying to make the AI... Um, you have competitive races with like a very intelligent AI system. Well, I don't know how true that is, but it would be interesting to see because uh, anything's an upgrade from what we've got at the minute. Uh, I like how we can spend time making something like that, but this would be awful still. Wait for this car, it's going to come right over. Yep. I don't know how they manage it. Seriously. Does someone tie their shoelace in the morning? I mean, really, that car, if it was multiplayer, would be ghosted because I, technically I think I've lapped them. Yeah, because I'm still in P2. Get out of the way. Ooh. Bit of tail happiness there. Come on, buddy, you're in the way, man. That's it. You go wide. Some Mustangers on the inside. Let's go. Do we need to half cut across in front of you? So you got no. What are you breaking for? Seriously, like you know, it took ages to catch you up, and then you massively slow down as I get there. Uh, I don't get it. How 
Halfway through it. Halfway through it. We survived more than one lap now. We've done well. I would have thought this track would add a little bit more banking as well, to be fair. So the Mustang behind me that massively breaks into a corner is right up behind me as well. Nothing like keeping it interesting with the AI. Yeah, I was going a bit slow through there to be fair. Whilst we're going around here in circles looking how the day is going, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Look at the uh, other videos we've got and join the Discord. This link should be in the description. And uh, the Discord is actually really good. We've got a lovely bunch of people in there. And it's, uh, it's just an absolute blast. That's great for helping uh, people out and finding uh, new people to race with as well. Because we're all looking for like a clean races and competition and learning from each other as well. Except for Scouser. Go wa watch that person. He likes pepperoni pizza. To be fair, if you ever look at my um, touring car and the images as well, Scouser did do my logo, absolute work of art, and uh, he's done it for my car as well as a few other cars, so, absolutely brilliant that, it looks great, there's nothing I could do, but yeah, that's no worries mate, and uh, thank you for joining us. How's oh, that Mustang coming up? Uh, have fun and have fun in the street. Yeah, thank you, buddy. I shall see you next time. And take care of yourself, man. Oh, well, we're on our last lap. Thank God for that. Thank golly for that last lap. And look how the Mustang kept up with me all the way through, yeah. That sounds about right, doesn't it? Yeah. Totally normal behaviour. Oh yeah, forget you don't actually have to sit there and wait for everybody to finish the race. <laughs> That's crazy. Don't forget about that. Oh, those are white dish wheels, wide wheels on that one. And that monster. Road America. Oh, that is going to be an interesting one. Yep, <coughs> Road America it is then. Ooh, I can upgrade to a B. What oh, that means? Means bigger turbo. Actually, I did do the brakes on here, didn't I? Yep, yep. That's dr drift stuff, I don't want drift stuff. I mean, weight reduction. I mean, how heavy am I anyway? Uh, 148. Why does it do that? Uh, I saved 200 pounds. Could I gain that back in performance? Probably. 
Because to be fair, if I put a strengthening cage in that as well, it's going to push me back down. Uh, got a twin turbo on there. Is that it? Like, power-wise? I gain 65 horses. Oof. I expected a lot more. Uh, I don't know. That to me is a pretty weak. I mean, to be fair, that probably doesn't help matters. It hasn't got an intercooler. Still, I expected way more than that. That is a quite peculiar. Uh, let's stamp it on anyway. Let's get some better cams. Oh. Cams really to make a difference. I'm going to take some of that turbo off. And add the cams. Oh, it still pushes it right above the scale. I'm going to take away... 602. Okay. Do you know what? I just have to take the cams down, won't I? Wow, that is 447 to 490. Worth it. Well, okay, we'll put some race cooling on there as well. That obviously has also increased. Uh... Ah. Yeah. Aww. All right, get more car points. Spent the money I've earned. This car is going to be an absolute animal. Just like to say, it's going to be an absolute animal. See if it works. It may not work. Uh, there's only one way to find out, I guess. I mean, if I'm not going to win in the corners, I'll win in a straight line, hopefully. I mean, that's a lot of power. Come on. Let's go. We can do it. Yeah, yeah. Don't need you to keep talking about Watkins Glen. Yeah, let's get practice. What we got here? There uh, we go. Five laps of fuel. To be fair, it's quite a short race, really. Tune car. I want to... Reduce that to about 50% and that to zero. I don't want really too much wheel spin on the inside. Ah, tell you what I do want is uh, gearing. Top speed, 183 kilometers an hour. I wish this would go to miles per hour because I have no idea what 183k is in miles per hour. What's that about? It's 130, 140? Guessing. Um. Uh, been a lot easier. Could have been a lot easier. I don't see why if you've got it set up for um that your normal speed is miles per hour. Why that is in kilometers? But that's what I'm saying. It would be a lot more convenient if it was in uh, miles per hour. I guess that's too much for turn 10. Car does sound rev happy. See the wobble in the bonnet when it's revving it up. Come on, let's go. Power. Whoa, you can hear it. Oh, this car is a beauty. Look at it go. Thread that needle. Whoa, give space. The way it's snapping through those gears. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, 
That's a lot of understeer. Let's go. Not too far behind, so I'll be in a slipstream. Power is five, four, three, two. May break a bit earlier next time. I think the 200 ball was a, uh, a little late, maybe. But it seemed to uh, work just. I think you divide kilometers an hour by 10. Then times it by six. 186 kilometers, so that'll be 18.6 times by six. Um, steady. I'm not flat out through here, is it? No. Ooh. This corner always catches me. I really hear that turbo. The turbo flutter sounds amazing. Can't deny that. Letting off the throttle, a little flutter sounds great. Uh, we're looking at here. Five, four, three. Ah, the car randomly revved up there. I'm not too sure what that was about. Uh, sounds like the inner wheel is dragging, so I did the wrong way around on the diff setup. 160 miles per hour, I think I'll check on the converter. Sounds a bit less, uh, a bit wrong. Unless they're putting 186 kilometers an hour is actually miles per hour, and they just haven't got it right. It would not surprise me, to be honest with you, because this car is definitely going a lot faster than... 116, 111 miles per hour. I mean, the final drive said 186k. I guess it must mean miles per hour. They just haven't fixed it, like, like everything else. Coming in a bit hot, a bit hot. Made it work. Oh, I hear that flutter. Just playing with it. Whoa, there it is. Yeah. I guess uh, fours are meant miles per hour, not kilometers an hour. But. Forza being Forza, coming in hot like an idiot, not paying attention, I'm off the track, I lost P2, diving in, stuff it, it's on the AI, we'll catch him up, we'll catch him up because, uh, you know, Yeah, I think it's another thing turn 10 got wrong. Not sorting that out. I mean, this is where you got to think about the testing on the game. We're six months deep in with release and it's still, that's wrong. I'm 90% sure it did say kilometers an hour, not miles per hour.
Even though I have race brakes in this thing, it still brakes like an old bus. Get off that. Wow. Well, I mean, that's uh, fight I never want to have to have it again. I think um, in reality, you know, it should say miles per hour, and that's where the settings are wrong. But we you know, like I say, we, like I've already said, six months deep into release of this. Uh, it's still not right. It's pretty shocking. To have mathematical errors like that where miles per hour and kilometers an hour are incorrectly displayed. I'm surprised nobody's actually noticed or picked it up. They probably have, and it's, uh, they're like, oh yeah, that'll be in update 11. Still say the turbo flutter on here is lovely. Just playing with it, it just sounds great. It's got such a loud turbo. To be fair, it is a big engine as well. It's not even, um, I think it's a street turbo on this. Breaking too late again. Survive it. Survived it. I'll break up the uh, 500 marker then for this car. Four hundred marker still too too short of distance to slow down. Quite surprising, really, because I can. Uh, it's a tight corner, I guess. Uh, Five hundred marker though. Oh, blimey! I mean, it's got racing brakes on it. You know, it should slow down better than what it's doing. Ah, uh, three. Too sure, really. At least I'm getting away from the AI as well, which is quite nice, and not rubber banding or catching up to me some weird, unusual way. I'm getting a weird bit of a uh, car float though. But I did set up the car wrong. Like that. I uh, put the diff the wrong way around. Ah well. Nothing like a bit of uh, excitement in your life, I guess. Over the curb and far away. The AI come to play. It's amazing how long soft tyres last when you're not in multiplayer. You know, I think four times the tire wear is too much. Like I've said earlier, you know, it does need um, adjusting. I think it should adjust differently and create a new tire strategy. And like um, has already been said as well by Elder Dragon um, about fuel, you know, having races where you got to watch your fuel load as well. Yeah, go. Cool. It's literally pushing me. Do they get a penalty for that? Should do. Oh, they backed out there. Oh, here we go. This is the start of finish line. So we got just give us more laps with less, uh, less of the. Dead easy. Yeah, exactly. I think um, it'd be quite nice to have a good 
I should do a whole race on soft tires. Do you know what? It'd actually be quite nice to actually do a full qualifying session on a set of soft tires. I've noticed quite a few times I've not managed to be able to do a full qualifying session on a set of soft tires after lap two, the dead. Which is, I find quite annoying and ridiculous, really. There we go. Daytona. I will sort out the diff issue that I managed to create. What's this? Oh. Performance. Oh, no, I don't want to be. Oh, wait, I can. Limit is now A. Yay! We can go more power. Oh, the turbo is maxed out. Fair enough. More power. Qua, 601 horsepower out of this thing. absolutely mental to drive this thing I tell you that now the flywheel don't do much it just adds yeah. <clears throat> might as well put some weight reduction in there oh that's quite a weight pick that sucks if I put that on there and add that that's gonna add more to it okay I'll put a ballast in it try and get the weight down nah because I've just taken the weight out one, two, one, five, three, one. I'll just go to there. That's as far I can really push this car without going over. And again, I could have put a whole new engine in there, I guess. Hey, cool, you got a fair choice of engines here. Yeah. 825 horsepower engine right there. Yeah, that's uh, I mean, this car's gonna be a handful as it is without adding more things like that. Oh, blimey. Okay, tuning. I'm gonna fix the uh, where is it? Differential issue I managed to create myself and. So it goes to the corners better, and that about fifty percent. Yeah, that's about right. Oh wait, no. Suspension, springs, ride height, as low as you can go. Sitting so, you know, at Daytona, the curbs and that ain't gonna be a worry, are they? Daytona Speedway. Nothing like a little bit of fun there. Load up. Load up. Right. Skip practice. Nobody wants to practice. Uh, fuel and tire. Gonna go for softs. That is a lot of fuel for eight laps. 24 laps. Wow. The car's getting thirsty and thirsty every time I tune it up. I mean, it's typical. It's got a lot of horsepower. Which has made me think is, have I gone past that point of it being undrivable now? With all the horsepower? That's going to be absolutely crazy. Oh uh, yeah, just go race. Let's go. Yeah, he rolled his start as well. This car's going to be absolutely mental. I can see it coming. Yep. Cool, blimey. It really goes. Yeah. I won. <laughs> this is... Uh, oh. <coughs> this is... Uh, absolutely mental. Alright, they catch up to me, which means I can push a little bit more through here. Go. Power. Ah, they're catching up to me. I'm flat out. Not good. 
I have the acceleration, but on the top end. Oh, really? Whoa. Okay. Okay. Now I know I can really bank it into those corners. That's good to know. That's good to know. I was quite unsure of how fast I can go through those corners without going straight into a wall. But considering the banking, I've got... Yeah, I should have done some practice laps. That would have been common sense. Um, yeah. I had common sense once. I don't know where I put it. Let's go. Power. Oh, take everybody as fast as you can. Stay. Yeah. And into the curve. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. It can get a little bit too itchy. I was not expecting that. I don't know why I have to keep choosing this. I chose it a minute ago. It's going to be like the other race where I'm going to have to take like four or five attempts of restarting to actually get it right and use a brain. Right. We will power out of this lot again, get in front, and let's go. Bit of contact made from a bit of wheel spin I had. Off track, I'm gonna get a penalty for it. No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, reduce the throttle through here. So it's not as twitchy. Control. Power. Alright, reduce the throttle to about half throttle as you go through the banking and it becomes a little bit more stable. It's probably down to the diff, to be fair. If I had a diff set up better, probably be more controllable. Wait for it. Everybody's missing me. And somehow I didn't actually damage my car. Well, we are well down the field. Okay. Take the high banking line. A bit sketchy up here. Making it work. Powered out a little bit too early there. Could have done, done with a few extra horses. Yeah. I'll make it our way through the pack again, which is good. I think maybe suspensions are maybe just a tad too low. See. Oh. Ooh. Come on, away from that wall. The power. I don't know. It just seems to get unsettled a little bit quite easily. I say it's probably suspension's a little bit too low. And uh bottom in and out, which is then causing the car to bounce uh unpredictably. Come on. Fuck it out, where am I going? I'm like turning, it's just not wanting to turn. Oh, I have no idea what that was about. 
Ooh. I am going to raise the height. Uh, 24.1, 24. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to have the back a bit higher. I'll have a bit more downforce on the rear. Also going to change the gearing to 24. 200, see it says kilometers an hour, so I will... I think that is generally wrong. It should be miles per hour. Um, do generally think they uh, uh, messed it up a little bit. And diff. Where is diff? Uh, we'll put them both at 100, see what happens. It's only going to go wrong again. And I just have to restart again. Up to six. Things are looking up. It's going to be better this race, I promise. Well, at least it's the same track cars that are in front of me this time than they were last time. I wish it would set me off in second gear as well, then I will have less wheel spin. Come on, that's it. Power. That's it, look at that. Look at it go. Absolute animal. Oh, that feels way more stable. Still a bit floaty in the rear end. Trying to settle itself back down. Oh, that's definitely better. So when it's trying to settle itself back down, is trying to hold it straight like that. It's getting quite easily, easily manipulated. Back end's giving out quite easily, which is quite unnerving. So next time we go through that corner again, I have to get a little bit slower. Maybe I'm coming out of the bank curves wrong as well, thinking about it. I don't, because I say, it does seem to slip out of the banked curb rather than grip its way out, you know? So I mean there it is. You get the odd like glide, it's a bit weird. There it is. We glide again where it just It's just doing that. It's like there's zero um grip at that rear end and I don't know what that's about. Maybe I should add some downforce to the rear. Uh, try and get that back end settled. Because top speed isn't a massive concern. Um... Lower that front end a little bit more. Hopefully then this setup would be a little bit better for it. Like I say, it just seems to be coming out of the banks really uneasily. Um, I don't know what it's all about. I don't know what it's about. Let's go. Tires and everything still the same. Yep. Let's go race. 
And we're going to smoke him off the line again. I wish it would start us off in second gear, but it chooses us not to. And the truck is showing the third. There we go. See how it handles now. I mean, I'm going to have a lot of drag due to the rear wing. As long as I can keep up for about 170 miles per hour, it should be golden. It does seem to be coming out of the bank there a little bit better. Let's we'll see what the next few laps, um, next few banked curves feel like. Is it maybe because the back end's lifting? Still a little bit skittish then. But it's not being manipulated yet. Not like it was. So it just comes out of here like... No, that's a lot more stable. And I'm actually taking it a lot faster as well. So, a good bit of rear downforce has helped a lot. That's what I can say there. And my average speed is way higher now. Because well, the average speed before was about 170, 169. Now I'm at 180 and it's stable. Well, I say a good 80% stable. Compared to what it was. Good polite. And I'm not having to let off in the corners either. I'm about to keep my toe down. Tell you know what's hard is getting the right steering position because you don't really get much of a steering to play with um, using the wheel. Turning the wheel probably like four or five degrees. But because it's a Logitech and it's geared, you can feel like you turn the cog or the gear one notch. And that one notch is the huge difference between the steering going through these bank curbs. So you're constantly going on and off like a gear. That's fun though. We are making ground. Oh, 0 0.006 seconds slower this lap. Hmm. I made up a bit of time now. Fair enough. I was too busy looking at my fastest lap time then. Getting distracted. It's surprising the amount of concentration it takes to go through here. You know, I know it's not a, an oval. But it's pretty much an oval to an extent. And you're pretty much really concentrating by the one or two degrees of steering angle. Get it just right. It is quite an unusual feeling. I don't usually concentrate this much, it hurts. It hurts the little mind. Three laps of this to go. What are you catching up to the car in last place? Which is going to be annoying. I say, it's a shame they don't ghost them. Like you get a multiplayer. I'm sure there's probably a setting I could change to ghost them, but. 
Wow, oh, look at the mouse problem gaining from a bit of slipstream. Coming in. Coming in hot. Oh, blimey. Guarantee it's going to be my little one of these are going to stitch me right up. Made it out alive. Right, I've got to survive one more lap. Aimbot racing this. Hey, I got it onto a T, man. It's just I'm just gonna mess it up in the last lap. It'll be my luck. One lap of fuel left, though. I'm like eighty percent sure, but nothing. This car is an absolute animal, man. It's brilliant. Now I've got a downfall sorted. Oh, I absolutely love it. I am three times slower this lap, though. Than usual. Makes you uh, think where you're losing the time. It's got to be on the banked curves where I'm not staying down as low as I could do. I try to stay off away from that uh, yellow line because if you hit that yellow line you can really upset the car and across the finish line we go <coughs> oh my wrists are hurting poor blimey well my best lap is four seconds faster than the next car and I was twenty, no, uh, yeah, twenty seconds is quicker. So forty-six, fifty-six. Nope, thirty-six. Uh, thirty seconds quicker than the next car. Wow, that is crazy. Absolutely crazy. And uh, that is that event over. Ah. Uh, yeah. Porridge. <clears throat> I gotta go trophy. To be fair, that's my first go trophy. Right. I'm gonna call it a night here, everybody. Thank you for joining me this evening. And I hope you enjoyed what you saw. V10 Titans next. Army. Oh, I like that track. Um, anyway, yeah, as I was saying, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget, to please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that like button. It massively helps out. And if you're enjoying what you're seeing here and enjoying what we're doing, come and join us on the Discord. The link is in the description. Got the greatest bunch of people I've ever met in the Discord. Brilliant people. Always up for a laugh, always looking to learn, and for people that need to learn. And there's other stuff in the Discord as well to help us all move along. And overall, it's just such a great community. So um, take your time and come over and have a look for it. Anyway, thank you all for joining me this evening, and I shall bid you adieu. Good night, everyone. <laughs>